Looking for a great cruise vacation without the long drive? We have the answer. On this episode of All Aboard TV, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to show you some great cruises that you can take from our favorite place to cruise from, Port Tampa Bay. I'm Paul Anderson, CEO of Port Tampa Bay, and you're watching All Aboard TV. I'm Rob Stewart. And I'm his wife, Carrie, and we're professional cruisers. And yes, that is a real job. We spent over 100 nights at sea. We even got married on a cruise ship. It's our favorite way to travel. And when it comes to vacations, nothing is better than cruising. To those that know us, the obvious reason we love this port is because we live in Tampa Bay. But we're not the only ones that like this port. Port Tampa Bay is the leading economic engine uh, for the entire uh, Tampa Bay area. Uh, cruise ships comprise approximately 20% of our business here in Port Tampa Bay. The first thing you'll notice when you come to Port Tampa Bay to take a cruise is first you have different options than you would at other ports and that's the purpose of the cruise lines sailing out of the port here. Uh, the other thing that is I think one of the fabulous highlights of our port is you get to sail 40 miles out through Tampa Bay under the Skyway Bridge. Very few ports in the world can offer that. You see the natural beauty of the bay uh, as well as the skyline when you leave the city. The lights, if you come in early in the morning and you get up early enough to look at those, there is just a real special feeling about coming in early in the morning to this beautiful bay, which is a, a natural uh, environmental wonder. At Norwegian Cruise Line, we really love Port Tampa Bay. It's in the heart of downtown, it's super convenient for people to get to, and it's a great jumping off point to get to the Western Caribbean. It's the only port in Florida where you can walk right off the ship and right into the heart of the downtown action. You don't have to take a bus or a cab to do anything. And with so many options so close to where the ships dock, it's always the perfect place to stay either before or after your cruise. Did you know that Port Tampa Bay is home to four different cruise lines? The Carnival Paradise is the only ship that is here all year long. It does four and five night sailings to Grand Cayman and Cozumel. If you want to know more about this ship, come along with us on the September 19th five night sailing. With prices starting at just $299, it's not only a great deal, but you can hang out with us and see a little behind the scenes magic. If you've never cruised before, this is a great way to dip your toe in the water. Royal Caribbean has two ships in Tampa for winter this season. The Brilliance of the Seas doing the same four and five night itinerary as the Carnival Paradise starting November 7th. The week after that, the Vision of the Seas gets into town to do not only the traditional seven night Western Caribbean cruise, but also nine and 10 night cruises to the Southern Caribbean, a rare itinerary for Tampa Bay ships. Both ships will be sailing from Port Tampa Bay through early April. When we come back, we'll show you two more cruise lines that sail from Tampa. ready to go to Wally World. It's a long way down. Holiday Road. Oh, oh, oh. Holiday Road. Honey, a blonde in a convertible? Seriously? Built for families, designed for drivers. The QX60 from Infinity, with a third row and seating for seven. If you're coming downtown, if you live downtown, and you're gonna eat dinner, you wanna have lunch, you wanna check out an art gallery, you wanna go right to downtownstp.com. You get to meet online these key personalities that run these businesses. After being to over 300 cities and 40 different countries, out of all of them, I think downtown St. Petersburg is the most magical place to live. Nova 535 is my gift to St. Petersburg. We do one event at a time, we do a great job on it, and we focus on the client. The best part of downtownstpete.com is... If you can't stand the heat, get off the test track. Get the Mercedes-Benz you've been burning for at the summer event going on now at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Hurry before this opportunity cools off.
When you sail from Port Tampa Bay, you quickly learn why this is a favorite port for cruisers. We had the chance to hang out on the bridge of the Norwegian Sun with Captain Ronnie Borg, and here's what he had to say. Yeah, the experience of coming to, to the port of Tampa Bay has been very positive. It's a very nice port and it's uh, uh, very convenient for our guests because the airport is closed, uh, closed to us and then it's easy for them to come and go. Uh, and also the setup on the piers and the terminal is nice and it's very uh, downtown as well, which is nice for our crew. So they can get off. Have a good day. Starting October 19th, the Norwegian Star comes to Tampa. If you saw our episode on holiday cruises, you saw us on the Norwegian Sun. The Star is her sister ship and will be doing seven night Western Caribbean cruises until mid-April when she leaves to spend the summer season in Copenhagen, Denmark. The Star recently came out of dry dock, which basically means they added some updates to the ship, including a new restaurant and some that used to charge are now free. And if you are a parrot head, you will enjoy a first for Norwegian's fleet, Jimmy Buffett's Five O'Clock Somewhere Bar. And last but certainly not least, Holland America's MS Vendom. This ship arrives in mid-January 2016 and is here until late April. If you're looking for a more upscale cruise in a more relaxed environment, you'll love this ship. She does seven to 21 night sailings to places like St. Thomas, St. Lucia, Antigua, and Curaçao. When it leaves Tampa, it will then take a trip up the Atlantic seaboard to Montreal, Canada. As you just saw, there are some great cruise options from Port Tampa Bay. Next week, we'll show you more things to do before and after your vacation. To learn more, contact your travel agent. That's all the time we have. We'll see you next week right here on 44 on the Town. Let's go! Special thanks to our partners, Loki Motor Company, Port Tampa Bay,